Moving on to a query from Rameshwaran now, who is buying property and uh, to get capital gains tax exemption, he says that he has to get the property registered in his name within three years. Now, but due to the delay from the builder's side, the registration would be delayed by uh, one or two months. Now, he wants to know if he is still eligible for exemption of capital gains tax. Does he need to register the property in his name? How does it work? Yeah, so uh, I'm assuming that he's uh, buying an under construction uh, property or a property which is uh, being constructed mm. and which hopefully is now ready. And in that case, of course, the time period available is three years. So while the plain reading of the law suggests that the house has to be uh, constructed within a period of three years, but recently there has and this is the position tax office has been taking consistently. But recently there was a similar issue came come up before uh, a tax court where the tax court had an opportunity to evaluate the law and the tax court interpreted the law to say that the law says that you have to invest money uh, or capital gains in three years. Even if you don't get property within three years, it's fine. So assuming that he has invested the entire capital gains within this three three years period, which is an under construction property, in which case uh, he still need not pay any gains tax on a previous property which he would have sold. Right, sir. And Sami, that should be a great news for a lot of home buyers out there because we know that uh, projects across India have been delayed in the last uh, couple of years, and of course uh, people would be staring at huge losses if they would have to end up paying 20% uh, tax on all those capital gains. However, one other thing that he asked, and I want to, you know, clarify that point. Uh, he wanted to know, Rameshwaran wanted to know whether he has to get the property registered in his name within three years. Now, uh, we, we talk about reinvesting, but how do you prove to the IT department that you've actually reinvested these gains? Do you need to buy property, sign an agreement and register that agreement? Is that the only proof that you can show them? So, so uh... Uh, basically, if uh, he has already signed an agreement and he has made legitimate payments uh, to the developer, then that is adequate proof to show that yes, there is an signed agreement, uh, which probably he has still not registered. He can go and register. I don't think he has to wait uh, for the property to get constructed to register a document, but that is his choice. But he has to at least submit a legitimate no, document. I think the problem here comes from the fact that in a lot of cases, uh, people do sign an agreement. Mm. But uh, there is a final agreement they sign. What they get is a letter of allotment. Correct. And uh, they sign a final agreement at the time of possession. Yeah. And that is the agreement which is then uh, registered. Correct. So in that case, uh, what uh, do home buyers do? Yeah, so if he doesn't have an agreement, uh, obviously still a letter of allotment is uh, still good enough. But more importantly, the proof of payments and uh, showcasing that these payments have been received by the developer. So a mm -hmm. confirmation from a developer saying that yes, he has received X amount, which should mitigate his liability. And obviously once the flat is uh, constructed, ready, once he signs the agreement, he has to get it registered uh, as a final proof. Right. So the developer can give him an affidavit or a letter yeah. saying that the payment has been made. Correct. So uh, essentially you need to uh, have a paper trail that shows that you have made these uh, payments to the developer and that should be enough uh, to convince the tax authorities. However, it goes without saying if you have an agreement and ideally you should have signed an agreement, then you should also register the agreement because that is the only legal proof that you have that you actually own that property. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.